Now that you've installed R and RStudio, you're ready to begin working with the console inside R. So the first thing that you need to know about the console is, first of all, how to enter in variable names and how to assign values to variables. If you recall from your mathematics courses, a variable is just a stand-in for a value. So we might say that the variable x represents the value 10. And you can use it in functions and assign it different values depending on other variables. For now, let's say that we want to assign the value of 10 to x. To do that, we can either use the equals sign and say x equals 10 and hit return. Or we can similarly use this left facing arrowhead and then a dash and then the value 10. They both do the same thing. They both are slightly different in how they deal with scopes. But don't worry about that now. Just know for the time being that they're essentially equivalent. You'll see after you assign a value to our variable x that it appears up in this window up here. This is a workspace telling you what variables you have so far and what their value is. Now within the R console we can do several different manipulations to these variables and to different values. So for example if we want to do simple arithmetic operations like 10 plus 20 we get answers like 30. So doing this is very simple. We can do addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. All the basics of arithmetic. However, we can also use a variable to do the same thing. So instead of saying something like 10 plus 20, we can assign x the value 10, and let's say we want y to have the value of 20. So instead of saying 10 plus 20, we can just put in x plus y and get the same result. Similarly, you can say that you want to assign the value of one variable to have the value of another variable. So let's say we want to create a new variable z, but we want it to have the same value as the variable x. In this case, we can just say z equals x, and now z is a variable that has the value of 10. That's how you assign variables in R. As you can see, it's very simple, very straightforward, but it's one of the building blocks of how to build functions and how to run certain programs in R.